Thanks, Deputy Speaker. And what a pathetic display from the member for Karangamite. What an outrageous slur against the people in this parliament who are standing up for working people, not like the people on that side of the parliament, Deputy Speaker. Let's not forget the party of work choices, the party of dividing and conquering the Australian workforce, the party responsible for the slowest wages growth that we are now seeing since the, since the wages price index started being kept in the 1990s, Deputy Speaker. What an utter disgrace for them to lecture us for our decision, for our responsibility, for our obligation, for our moral obligation to stand up for the rights of working people in this country and fancy this ridiculous campaign against us for having the temerity, as we have the right to do, as we have the responsibility to do, to stand up and say when it comes to free trade agreements, we want to see free trade agreements, we want to see trade liberalisation, but we want to do it in a way that ensures that the benefits of that liberalisation are shared by everyone in this community. And that means standing up for Australian jobs. And no one on this side of this House is ashamed of standing up for Australian jobs. And no one on this side of the House is ashamed for standing up for skills, qualifications and safety. In fact, it is our obligation. And in fact, Deputy Speaker, those people on that side of the House, on the government side of the House, should take a good hard look at themselves when they criticise us for doing our jobs, for asking questions about the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement, and to call us racist, to carry on as though somehow the party of the initial visit to China, the visit that occurred before Kissinger's visit, the party of the introduction of the integration of the Chinese iron markets, for example, the increase in 1984-85 in the export market to China under Bob Hawke, the party of Paul Keating, the party of Kevin Rudd and the party of Julia Gillard and her Australia in the Asian Century white paper to accuse us of being racist is as ridiculous and insulting as it is irresponsible, Deputy Speaker, because we are not xenophobic and racist merely because we stand up for Australian jobs and we will always stand up for Australian jobs.